the reality these days, which was not true 30, 40 years ago, is 90, if not 99% of technology is no longer in defence. And so there has to be this kind of partnership that goes on with, you know, what the Googles of this world are doing or whatever else is, because they're doing machine learning and deep learning and everything else. And, and I think that is disruptive. It's disruptive for your business uh, and how defence needs to think in the future, because it's no longer, you know, keeping all the technology secret, because actually all technology is out there. Uh, and I mean, how are you going to ingest it? How you use it because because basically your competitors, both nationally and commercially, are already doing that. Just to give an example, so um, around some civil technology, we there was a, a company actually in the UK. It's, it's called Intelligent Textiles Limited, and it makes intelligent cloth. So why not? It's actually a defence company interested in that. What it allows you to do is pass data and power through the cloth without without the need of wires. Um, and this, this, basically, a very small SME actually had this, um, and they couldn't get it to market. And so we've worked with them to get it to market in terms of driving down the price point. So we've brought our expertise nice in terms of building the business model, thinking about the intellectual property. We've taken that capability and put it into an old mill in Preston to manufacture it, which is you know, sort of quite something, to the point where we've actually got something at a price point that makes sense. Now that then goes into body armour for a soldier, allows them to plug all their devices in, or actually someone actually sort of flying in a cockpit, or you can actually imagine other areas. So I think defence has a role, but if you will, the idea, if you will, that that came from, is quite, it's, it's an intelligent cloth. And who's to sort of say, you know, that that's going to come from elsewhere. So I think that's actually, if you will, an example of where defence can actually play a significant role in that, because often we have the hard problems, but the technology comes from elsewhere.